These things are a lot easier to move when they're running. That's good enough. I'm sorry I put my computer to sleep so you can't have something pretty to look at, but I just got done ordering $92 worth of stuff for the BMW. Not only that, but I called up the place that now has my tires. I ordered tires quite a while ago. They're finally in. They've actually been sitting at the place for like two and a half weeks, and they said they would call me back. They haven't really called me back. I am happy to say that the D-Max is going to be rocking some new shoes and new rims. I'm going to take those rims off, those tires off. Those tires are actually going to stay right on the rims. Ah oh, man, I got junk everywhere. My mom's going to be pissed. She is definitely going to be pissed. Maybe I should clean this mess up for my mother. Luckily, I have a very understandable mother. It looks a little better, right? I think I would get an E for effort. But I'm actually gonna rock these rims again. So the new tires are going on these. I miss these rims. I miss these quiet tires. My camera absolutely hates these things. All you can hear is hum when I'm riding dirty in the D-Max. In the Dirty Max. I don't mean to talk about my truck in a braggadocious way. I'm just very proud of my purchase. I'm not saying my D-Max is better than any other vehicle. I'm just saying I worked my ass off to pay for that truck and now that I have it, I love it. You guys know when I first purchased this thing, I just kind of wanted to get it running. I bought it, the thing didn't run, the thing didn't turn over, it didn't do a squat. Now it runs, it drives, it does everything. But now it's time to get serious with this vehicle because it's inspection time. Now to be quite frank, I screwed up. I went way out of time schedule. But I mean, this thing has continued to break because of poor maintenance from the previous owners and I put it through absolute hell. But that's no excuse. You're gonna have to rock and roll with 3D machines, otherwise you're gonna have to get the hell out of here. You know what I'm saying. But here's one of the fixes that I'm not proud of, but it does make the vehicle run. And this is the red RTV gasket maker. That is not the right stuff. So I purchased that gasket, I'll have to scrape all of this off. Once that does come in, it does look pretty though, it's very festive. I do not have to replace this hose like I mentioned before. When I spent that $92, I also purchased a new uh, mass air filter boot. It's got a new air filter. Um, they said that this might actually be the problem as well. So the plan is I'm going to clean the parts before I install them with the new parts. And then hopefully I'll knock out at least one, two, three, maybe all four codes. That would be nice. I'm trying to think what else I purchased. Oh, you guys are going to be extremely happy when you hear this. I bought a new serpentine belt. That one's squeaky. I bought a new one. I should have bought the new one a long time ago. It was only like $9. It was awesome. I'm not sure you're going to be able to see it, but I also bought a fuel cap. I think there's supposed to be an O-ring at the end of this, so I bought an O-ring. I actually bought like five O-rings, hoping if I get one of them that fits that, I will be very happy. Now, I do have an O-ring set, and it's right up here with all my other sets of stuff. Nope, that's not it. But the only problem is, is BMW, they, they are very sophisticated cars unfortunately and what that means is this kit along with the kits at like automotive shops they don't really work you have to buy them direct you have to buy bmw o-rings i had that problem here get this massive flashlight not sure if you're gonna be able to see that but there's a coolant fitting back there and i tried to buy a cheap o-ring and try to use an o-ring from that kit it didn't work i had to buy the o-rings from bmw they came in i put them in they looked exactly like the other o-rings but somehow these ones sealed and the other ones didn't. And I even used coolant O-rings because there's a difference between regular O-rings and coolant O-rings and O-rings that get warm and O-rings that stay cold and things like that. I tried that, it didn't work. I need a haircut. My haircut appointment is in 10 minutes. I'm gonna walk so then I don't have to start up my Duramax. Plus, this is much healthier. I forgot to mention, I also ordered a sub so that right after I'm done with my haircut appointment, I can walk across the street and get a sub. I'm thinking ahead, man. It's getting to be lunchtime. Well, it already passed lunchtime. It depends. What do you consider lunchtime? Like 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, or one o'clock? Or if one of your options wasn't mentioned, give me your lunchtime. But my lunchtime was like 11 o'clock and it is now 12.37. Okay, I got my hair cut. Does it look fly? I took my hat off just for the shot.
shot. Got across the street, jaywalking like crazy. Okay, I got the shot. Now I'm freezing my hair off. There goes my nice haircut. You better believe I'm gonna get my feast down with my clear Coca-Cola. I'm just kidding, it's water. I had lunch, but now it's time to go back to work. say that BMWs are expensive to work on and to maintain, but I'll tell you what, if you buy one from the prehistoric era, you know, before like 2000, before the 21st century, then you're all set. Parts are extremely cheap. I just basically rebuilt that entire car. Well, I bought the parts to rebuild that entire car for only $92. 92 bucks doesn't go very far even when you're at like Toys R Us, let alone when you're at the BMW dealership. So I'm going to take off this boot that I purchased so that we can get the new one on ASAP. I also want to check out the sensor to make sure it's clean because people said that if they're dirty, they don't work very well. That's kind of like when you have a dirty house. It still works the same, but everybody likes to bitch and complain. You guys know. I, I don't mind living in a mess, but there are a lot of times, more times than not, I like to be cleaner than dirty, if you know what I'm saying. That's a nice quality patch job. You see the duct tape? And then they have electrical tape on top. Yeah, this thing's shot. Hey, I need that, I need that, I need this hose clamp. It's like a $15 hose clamp. You see how that sensor is nice and clean? And then up top, where that aluminum is, right there, that all looks brand new. That's awesome. That means this whole, whoa. That means this whole setup is ready to rock. Once I get this, some people wanted like $50 for this. I scored it for like 15. Brand new. And this sensor looks like it's in good shape. Granted, I haven't taken it apart or anything, but just looking at it, it doesn't look like there's that much wear. This also looks extremely clean. That gasket looks good. <laughs> that gasket, yeah, we're not gonna mention that again. So for now, we're just gonna put everything away. <laughs> You're not gonna trick me, sucker. Make sure when you're dealing with these sets, or socket sets, you be nice and gentle. And once everything's closed up, you can just start throwing stuff. Because then it's closed, and then it can't spill everywhere. Okay, I have, a, I have a good question for you guys. Why can't you recycle oil containers? I understand that they had motor oil in them, or whatever other kind of oil, in the plastic, but why can they no longer reuse the plastic? Don't they melt the whole plastic down anyways? If you know the answer, and if, or if you don't know the answer and you want to Google it and leave it in the comment section, I would really appreciate to read it. Glad to say it's finally time to get serious. We're gonna get this thing to run. And pass the inspection, baby. She's gonna rock and roll. Going out to the city tonight, so I'm gonna take some of my used oil with me and have them recycle it. This is only about half of what I have, maybe a quarter, maybe even a fifth of what I have. But you guys know me, I like recycling. Recycling allows you to keep more money in your pocket and it keeps the world a little bit cleaner. I've had this thing plugged in all day. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll show you soon. I've mentioned this before, I have no problem explaining it again. This cord right here is designed specifically to keep my Duramax warm. So now, I'm going out to the city to visit my girlfriend and to recycle some oil. So I wanna take it with me and plug it into her apartment so that tomorrow morning when I go to start that up, it's not completely cold. What this cord leads up to is a coolant warmer or a coolant heater. Basically what that does is then disperses the heat throughout the engine and it's basically like you have a warmer engine. 
It's what us people need up in the north. You guys in Florida, you guys will never use this. Well, maybe you do, but not as much as us northerners. Stay down there. It sucks up here, it's too damn cold. I have an exhaust leak, I think. Could you hear it? That's not good. This truck has yet to give me a single problem. And now I think it might have finally given me its first problem. 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 <laughs> I just dropped off those eight, I believe, one gallon jugs of oil. Raisin Bran is my favorite cereal. What's your favorite cereal? Leave it in the comment section below. Okay, you guys, I just got to my girlfriend's apartment. Unfortunately, she doesn't have any outlets outside of her apartment for some strange reason. So it looks like the DMX is gonna get cold overnight. And it's gonna be real fun tomorrow when it starts. But I wanna thank you guys for joining me today. I hope I put some sort of smile on your face, even if it was for one second. Don't forget to say hi in the comment section. Smash that like button, break that son of a gun. I look forward to tomorrow. We're going to the scrapyard. We're gonna become a scrapyard dog. Hopefully we don't pop any tires. See ya, 3D Machines out.